I'm going to give you five reasons why you should use aluminum foil for your paint palette. Five reasons why you should use aluminum foil for your paint palette. Hi, this is Matt Filio, and a lot of people have asked me over the years here in teaching art classes, what's up with the aluminum foil? Why do you use aluminum foil on your palette? Why don't you use a stay wet palette or uh, some kind of a resealable palette? Uh, many different options for acrylic painters but I use aluminum foil. So kind of the backstory on this before I get into the reasons why I use aluminum foil or why you should use aluminum foil um, is I was looking just for something to cover my palette with. <clears throat> I had tried um, glass palettes, I had tried stay wet palettes and with the stay wet palettes a lot of times you would have um, the, the paint bleed through the, the paper and they got expensive to use and I just could never really get them to work for me. They were really frustrating. Um, glass was annoying to try to clean off and scrape off the paint. And then what, what would you do in the middle of your painting process? You'd have to kind of stop that to clean off the glass. Um, so there are just a lot of things I tried. I tried wax paper, I tried saran wrap. <laughs> you can imagine how that worked. Um, but then finally when I, after trying saran wrap, I went down to our kitchen drawer where the saran wrap and wax paper was and I thought what if I try uh, aluminum foil now I should have asked my wife but I, I don't think I did <laughs> but I still use the aluminum foil so I grabbed some just regular household aluminum foil and I put it on my palette and I thought you know what's kind of nice about this is it holds its shape it holds its form and what I did is I just taped it to the back uh, originally I taped it with masking tape and then I found out that um, packaging tape, the clear packaging tape works even better. And I just taped it to the back and then I um, taped the seam because you, you can't usually get a sheet big enough to cover an entire standard size palette. Um, so you use two sheets and you tape it down the middle and then I just um, kind of folded it over on the sides so that it fits it nice and snug and I put my paints on there. So now let's get into the reasons why uh, you should use an aluminum foil palette. Uh, reason number one, it's easy to clean. And this is what I found out. Um, you know, I put down all of my paints on the side, of course, starting with raw umber dark. I love my raw umber dark. And I, I put down all the paints here, boom, 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 around the edges. Um, and I would do a lot of glazing and a lot of mixing. That's what I do with my technique. So my mixing area gets muddied up really quickly within the matter of half an hour to an hour. The whole mixing area is just covered with paint. And um, instead of having to clean it off, clean off my palette, wash it off, and lose those paints, and just you know make it difficult for myself, all I need to do is take a fresh piece of aluminum foil right off my roll here and then press it down and we're ready to go. So this is what one of the soiled areas looks like, you know, and it just kind of sits right here in the middle of the palette. And when I'm done, I just peel that piece off, set it down, and I have some paint underneath it because the first time I use this palette, um, I obviously have the mixing area raw and I don't put down a fresh piece of foil. Um, so when I put down the fresh piece after this area is saturated, it sticks to there so nice. Um, so it makes it super easy to clean. Um, or really, I don't have to clean my palette. All I have to do is just take the foil off and crumple it up and uh, put it into a container and save it. Um, so that's reason number one why you would want to use aluminum foil for your palette. Reason number two, it saves paint. Um, so when you have your, your paint on the side of your, your palette, um, you're going to end up um, muddying up your mixing area way faster than you're going to use up all your paint on the side, especially if you paint uh, with the glazing technique like I do. And so um, if you were to have to, you know, clear off your palette, scrape it off or wash it off um, or put down, you know, fresh stay wet palette paper, you'd end up wasting all that paint and paint is money. That, that you don't want to do that as an artist. You don't want to waste paint. Um, so the fact that you can go ahead and put a fresh piece of foil on here and keep all those colors on the side, that is going to save you paint, it's going to save you money as an artist, or then you can buy uh, more supplies down the road. 
Um, so that's reason number two. Reason number three, um, it keeps you in the flow while painting. Hey, that's super important. I don't want to be, you know, when I'm in the middle of doing a, a painting project and I'm really grooving with it and it's looking good and I'm liking what I'm putting down for the glazes, I don't want to have to stop and scrape off all the paint off of my palette or, you know, put down a new sheet and then have to apply um, all the new colors again and get the palette going again. No, all I have to do again is just take off this soiled mixing area piece of foil discard it where I discard it and then put down the fresh piece and then put it down on the palette and we're good to go. Um, and then I can just basically restart the process. Uh, once that area gets saturated and muddied up, I can peel that one off or actually I can just uh, put a piece of foil on top of that. You can actually stack up and sandwich a few layers because each new layer of foil will stick to the previous one because the paint, you know, the muddied up paint on there is still kind of wet. So you just uh, pull this off and you just basically pull the corners in like this so it's rounded and you would press it down just like that and it would stick and you have a fresh new area to mix on and you can just repeat the process. Okay, so that is reason number three. It keeps you in the flow while painting. Uh, reason number four makes you money. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, it makes you money uh, to use a, an aluminum foil palette system. Now obviously you're going to be spending money on your aluminum foil, so what you're doing actually is kind of recouping part of that cost. Um, where I live, and I, that may or may not be true for you, but where I live, um, I have some recycling centers um, where I can take the aluminum foil you know, all, all muddied up like this, and again, that'll all be crumpled up into a ball to save space. You know, and I put it in a bag with se several of these little crumpled up balls of aluminum foil and paint. And I can take this to my recycling center and get paid for it. I get paid about 15 cents a pound. They call this old sheet aluminum. I used to work in a recycling center uh, several years ago, so that's one of the benefits of knowing uh, what recycling centers will take. Uh, you would want to check out with your city and see if you know they would take uh, soiled aluminum foil, um, maybe not as aluminum cans, but, but a separate category um, where you get paid a little bit lower than you would for cans, but you still get paid nonetheless to recycle your foil. You're not only getting the weight of the aluminum foil, you're getting the weight of the paint as well um, mixed into that. So um, that's reason number four. Potentially, recycling this can save you money and make you money. Um, now reason number five to bring it home is using the aluminum foil palette system. It's good for the environment. <laughs> it's good for the environment. So when you're taking that aluminum foil then and recycling it, it can be reused for cans and um, you know whatever else aluminum foil is used for. Uh, aluminum foil. <laughs> maybe sheathing for windows and uh, all kinds of different things. So uh, it can be used again and again and that's good for the environment. And I think all of us want to take care of the environment as best we can. God has given this to us. Let's be good stewards of it. Let's not pollute if we can help it. And let's keep the environment clean and reuse and recycle. So reason number five, it's good for the environment. Uh, so I gave you five reasons there why you should consider using aluminum foil on your palette um, and it works on any kind of palette you have whether it's large or small although larger is better and uh, yeah so that's that's a system um, if you like this idea of using aluminum foil you you've tried it in the past or you might consider it or maybe you have different ideas of palette systems that work for you let me know let me know in the comments um, one last thought though one last thought just because you might be thinking well I need something to keep my palette from drying out, my, my paints on my palette from drying out. So I do use the aluminum foil system with a spray bottle. This is called the Flaresol Sprayer. I got this from one of my students. She gave it to me as a gift. Thank you so much to her. And uh, yeah, so you can spray your palette every 15 minutes, keep it damp and keep it moistened, and then store this in a storage container, 
a resealable storage container and that'll keep your paints from drying out. Uh, so it's the perfect system as far as I'm concerned. But what do you think? Uh, if you have any ideas, thoughts about this, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'd sure love it if you'd subscribe to this channel. If you found this video helpful or interesting, share it with a friend. Go to realisticacrylic.com. I have several tutorials there to help you with your acrylic portrait painting. Um, and I would love to meet with you there and share my, my tips and techniques with you. So thank you so much for watching. God bless. We'll talk to you soon.